Well, good evening, greetings, and salutations. This is Passionate Bliss, and I want to tell you about my walk through the YouTube streets. So I was walking through the YouTube streets, right? And I came across some information from one of my favorite news sites, which is NBC. I found them to be credible, I found them to be impartial, and I found them to be unbiased in the past. So I kind of rely on them as a news source. And because I rely on them and trust them as a news source that does its due diligence, I was able to come up with a follow-up to a previous video. I did a video about a young lady who had been hit in the face by a brick from a black man who she did not want to give her phone number to. Okay. I reported on it. I gave condemnation for the men who were present, who were present, who did not do anything to help her. And this did not sit well with a lot of black men. In fact, I had one viewer who actually posted a comment. He told me that it was a fraud. He told me her injuries were allergic reactions. He told me that her reports from the hospital had been released, which as a nurse, I knew was a lie. That is a violation of her HIPAA rights. I knew that never took place. Then he proceeded to tell me that there were other receipts from other news um, outlets or other bloggers and that she's done this before. It's a hoax. It's not real. And um, he told me that he was looking forward to my apology. I, first of all, went and watched some of these reports. I looked at them and they, those were not receipts to me. All they were were attacks on her character. And at the very most, all they approved is that she wasn't a nice person, maybe. Possibly. Um, but it didn't prove that she wasn't hit in the face with a brick by a black man. And it did not approve anything else. I even saw on one video that there were hospital receipts that they said they weren't sure if they were receipts or not. And so um, I just waited. I didn't put a response out um, because, in my opinion, those were not receipts. And one of the things I said to this viewer was, I'm not going to go back and forth with you about what a receipt is. Nothing I saw was credible enough to dismiss her account of what happened because I could look at her face and see she was injured. I could see it was not an allergic reaction. Um, and so with that alone, I didn't do a follow up on it to make any kind of statement about all the claims that were going around that she was a fraud. They were calling it Brickgate. Okay, so I didn't do anything about that and I just waited. And so today I finally found a credible source, NBC News, who actually did a follow up. And because I know that black men do not like to read, I'm going to read the pertinent parts of the article to me and I'm going to put a picture of the article up for you to go look up for yourself. Um, this is the part that was available that I wanted to read to you because you don't like to read. Um, let's see. Her name is Miss Osman, and she did she did an interview with them, and she told NBC News first. They're like, "Where's the police report? You don't have a police report." I showed the police report. Then they're like, "Oh, it's a fake police report." She said. Then they're like, "Show us the hospital records. You don't have hospital records." I showed them the hospital records. Then it's fake hospital records. The gold post will never be met. She said. NBC News reviewed a police report filed on September 3rd and hospital records with results from a physical exam. Records indicate her left ear had blood coming out of the canal and the left side of her face was swollen with bruising and tenderness. Osman said police have identified a suspect for the assault and the investigation is ongoing. Okay, so not only did you not protect this lady that night, but you also went a step further. She set up a GoFundMe to help her pay for her hospital bills. She says she has been having panic attacks every day and that she has not been able to um, earn income as usual. And she was using the money for that. But because the GoFundMe she set up collected $40,000, you all did not like that. You did not want a black woman to have support. So even though only reportedly 1,600 people contributed to the GoFundMe that collected $40,000, over 250,000 people called GoFundMe to report it as fraud. The account was frozen and she has to now go through a verification process, provide all these evidence and receipts to prove that it was not a fraud. And so eventually, hopefully she will get the funds. However, many people call GoFundMe and ask for their money back. So um, that's what we can actually apparently account on black men to do, it looks like. So sir, I'm sorry, you are not gonna be getting an apology from this YouTuber, but you are gonna get the facts. You are going to get data. And in case you don't know what receipts are, this is what receipts are. With that being said, y'all have sweet dreams. Click to find them all real. And I hopefully wish a speedy recovery to Miss Osman.